Windsor Castle is situated inside the peaceful town of Windsor in Berkshire, England, west of London. Constructed during the decade following Norman conquest of England in 1066, it has the qualification of being the oldest and longest lived castle in Europe. It has been home to the British royal family for quite a long time, including its present ruler, Queen Elizabeth II. In any case, she isn't the main regal figure of England to at present walk its corridors. In February 1897, Lieutenant Carl Glynn of the Grenadier Guards was sitting in the external room of the Sovereign's Library when a woman wearing a dark clothing strolled past him and turned a corner. Fascinated by the lady's similarity to the representation he had seen of Elizabeth I, Glynn followed, but she disappeared. Moreover, there was no entryway through which she could have left the library. He asked the orderly who the woman was, but was informed he was the only individual who had entered the library that evening. The chaperone at that point raised the likelihood that the lieutenant had actually seen Queen Elizabeth I. Elizabeth I isn't the only member of royalty to take part in spooky actions along the hallways and among the grounds of Windsor Castle, for spectres of both Henry VIII and Charles I have likewise been seen there. Not long before Christmas 1648, Charles Stuart was taken a prisoner to Windsor Castle following the decision that he should be executed. Following his trial and decapitation in London on January the 30th, 1649, his body was returned to Windsor to be placed in a similar vault as Henry VIII and Jane Seymour. As the dark casket was being carried towards St George's Chapel, the sky, which up to that point had been clear, darkened and an unexpected snow covered the grounds. The dark pile over the casket was all white when the memorial service cortege arrived at the finish of the house of prayer and many accepted this as a perfect sign declaring the king an innocent man. As a debilitated elderly person, George III spent a great deal of his time at Windsor and every day inspected the guards. Following his eventual passing, while his body lay in state, the guards would on occasion see him standing in his usual spot. At times soldiers would instinctively salute the royal standing in that place, for him to suddenly disappear when they lower their hands. The palace's long facade from the long walk in Windsor's Great Park is amazing to see. However, at night it can turn foreboding. It was here in 1927 that an 18-year-old soldier, watching this area late in the evening, was overwhelmed with despair and shot himself. About a month later, Sergeant Leake took over the task. As his shift was ending, he was relieved to hear the footsteps of what he thought to be his replacement. Instead, to his horror, he came face to face with a young soldier who had just killed himself. As he stood shaking with fear, his replacement for the night arrived and the spectral image of the dead soldier disappeared. The sergeant reported the terrifying experience he had just had to other soldiers, who all backed up his claim of witnessing the ghostly apparition. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?